I suspected a surprise party. A surprise party? Here? Yes. Here. And a cake. Two meters tall with you inside of it. And then you would jump out and yell something. <laughs> Me. Me and a fucking cake. <laughs> Yelling what? Oh. Surprise. <laughs> We never were very creative. And I still ain't. Go ahead and date. Or isn't it a date, Tommy? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to see you. And it certainly isn't a surprise party. You wanted to see me. Haven't seen and spoken you in ten years, and now we're having a date. Or a kind of date. Nine. What? Nine years since I've last seen you, not ten. And then you called me. I thought it was the right thing to do. You just feel so. unreal. Sitting here in front of you, after all those years, we've both grown up and we've changed. And now I'm having dinner with you. I know you're here, right now. With me. And I know that isn't a dream. It can't be. In dreams, eyes are just there because they have to. But in real life, eyes are there to complete a person. Few are those who see with their own eyes. But you're one of the few. It's Einstein. It's what? Little Romeo. No, not Romeo. Einstein. From the whole thing about few are those who see with their own eyes. You know. Wild grey hair. Smart ass. The clever German. <laughs> <laughs> Einstein. All right, Mr. Einstein. I fucking hate about paper! You know what I fucking hate about paper, Rose? What's going on? You have to listen, Rose, please! I do not understand you making me afraid! You have to help me remember, Rose! I need to know! Alright! Stay calm. Please. Imagine a tree, a big tree, thick branches and bright green leaves, like the ones from early spring. Do you see him, Rose? See what? 
The tree. The tree. It's not a spruce, a, a pine. The branches, the leaves. So beautiful. So magnificent. Why would anyone turn this into paper? Just don't get it. A oak. What did you say? An oak. It's an oak on a photo. An oak? Not a spruce. Not a pine. But an oak. Your oak. It's the big oak from Connecticut. The big oak? Connecticut? Do you remember? The oak from ten years ago? Nine. Nine years ago. I remember. And you as well. The big oak. Beautiful Connecticut. But I also remember what happened. Nine years ago. Not ten. It sure is good to be back in your arms again To be loving you the way I used to do I knew all alone someday That time would finally bring me back to you Don't wake me, I'm dreaming Don't wake me I suspected a surprise party. Here? Yes, here. With a ton of other people. All dressed in white suits. And I was hoping for cake. I would love cake, with you inside of it. Very creative, Tommy. After all those years, and I still am. So... So what? What is it? This. Yeah. Certainly is not a surprise party. <laughs> and there also isn't cake. <laughs> I, I didn't tell them. I guess... I guess it's the same thing it was ten years ago. Nine. Nine years ago, yes. Rose. I always get it wrong. But uh, we're having a kind of date. Mm -hmm. That's how you always called it. <laughs> I know it wasn't a real date in a restaurant or something like that. But we were together. 
So to me, that sounded like the best definition for it. Always living by the rules of the Hollywood Romans. Don't you tell me? The big up, the flowers. They eat at a cozy Italian restaurant. The wine, the kissing next to water lit by a bright moon. Stepping off the grid, don't you tell me? Always afraid of stepping off. Always, always living your life like your dream. I try to make that work. I try to dream forever. As well as sleep, dreams don't last forever. At a certain moment, your alarm will go Still. up. Still, it feels like I'm dreaming right now. That at any second, I'm gonna wake up in a crappy drain next to a stinky road. Be happy you want. They told you I became insane, didn't they? No. No, that, that you were ill and they tried to cure you. Isn't that true? So they did. And... Is it true what they told me? Is it true you believe them? And 1098. Do you know what that is? That, that's, that's what I told me in 1098. I was shocked and completely convinced she was speaking to the wrong Rose Windrow. But she kept narrating the report. Then, then she spoke of something else. A found piece of paper. Four words were written on it. Two from the name. Rose Windrow. And beneath it stood. Casablanca Airport. And now we're here. At Casablanca Airport. I hope you would remember it. And I did. <laughs> we will always have Paris. That's my favorite line. <laughs> you never told me how you got to that name. I always found it a little strange. <laughs> Maybe that's why you still knew it. Maybe. To me, it sounded like the best definition for the place where I had to leave you for the very first time. I thought it would be forever, just like in the movie. Luckily it wasn't. He was always there, there to drive me insane. I tried to forget him and you, while becoming skinnier and pale. But I couldn't. So now I'm here on his birthday to see him. It is not your fault. What happened under that oak wasn't even a decision of God. It was just what it was. Bad luck. Can you hear it? Chopin? His etude. Opus 25. Numero uno. I always hear it when I imagine that tree. Can you imagine it, Rose? Can you see it? Yes. Our great oak. I see it. As a silhouette against the warm orange sun. Windham in late spring. So orange, so warm. My parents gone on their yearly romantic weekend away. 
Only me and Albert. He had something with that tree. Almost a bond. The irony. It was perfect. You could come over and my parents would never know. We, together, on the porch. The wine, the radio, Chopin. I still see it. I still imagine that feeling. They say things are the most special the last time you experienced them. It was. It was special. It all fainted with broken glass. A million shards covering the porch. My life had changed while enjoying Frederick Chopin. And I didn't even know it yet. I remember the big flash. A photo of our own. He gave it to me, told me that I could keep it and that our oak was simply old and in a bad condition and that it was probably wise to chop it down. That was the end of it. Of him. Of Albert. Because of a tree. Because of a goddamn tree! Like placing money on the wrong numbers. Just bad luck. Thomas, why can't we start over? M me and you making our dreams come true just like all those plans all those years ago. We, you can ask me out. We, we, we can go to that Italian place around the corner. You, you will pick me up at, at, at 8 o'clock. It, it's never too late. I'm sure Albert would love to see you happy. They all just think I'm a fucking lunatic. Just a junkie. Someone who followed the wrong path. I just want to make something right. And I can't do that there. Thomas, you're not guilty and you don't need to make anything right. I lied to you, Rose. You're here because I'm afraid of taking this step Thomas, alone. Thomas, don't do this. This is not what I want to remember when I think of this place. This is not the memory I want. When I'm going, you can't follow. What I have to do, you can't be any part of. Thinking about it, that name doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Casablanca Airport. It sounds way too cheesy. Thomas. I'm sorry, Rose. <laughs> I've decided to stop dreaming, and therefore, I have to make them come true. At that moment, I couldn't do anything anymore. Tommy had planned this already before I arrived. Just like the node, just like our plans from back in the day. He was in 1098, an escape patient. He had nowhere to go. But in all the chaos, just one question held my mind busy. Did Thomas his story, Albert's story, the story that started under the big oak have a good or a bad ending. I didn't know. What I did know is why Thomas did it. Why he chose for his dream was saying he would stop with that exact thing. For me, that was clear as a blue sky in Connecticut's late spring. An older brother can't miss the birthday from his sibling. Kenny. 
The summer kisses The sunburned hands I used to hold Since you went away The days grow long And soon I'll hear Old winter song But I miss you most of all My darling Oh